Salma. At High Tech Electronic Materials, we have the ability to manufacture bespoke O-rings on site in our UK-based production facility. We've made this video to show you how we manufacture our O-rings and guide you through our process. Before our O-rings are manufactured, the material and joint must be tested. A test piece is cut and its diameter is measured. It is then joined together following our standard process and the electrical conductivity is measured on either side of the joint and across the joint. Each value obtained must be within 10% of each other. After the criteria has been checked, the material is signed off and the test piece is kept for reference. And the material is then cut to the desired develop length. All extrusions are produced within a 0.13mm tolerance range and we do our best to keep this standard. Producing O-rings within 0.25mm of the specified develop length. The extrusion is then primed before splicing to ensure that when the two sides are bonded together, the joint is as secure as possible. The ends of the extrusion are coated with a compound made from a non-solid form of the same conductive elastomer in order to splice the two contact areas together. Our elastomers are made to meet MIL DTL 83528 standards to shield military and aerospace electronic systems. The material is fitted securely into a jig to ensure the two points of the joint remain in contact during the heating process. At Hitech, our production team have a combined experience of over 100 years. 60% of our production operatives are trained in manufacturing O-rings. Training consists of technical and safety presentations in-house during induction and learning the process with experienced operatives. Once they are confident with the various elements of the process, they are then peer-reviewed. Each member is then given quality stickers once they've proven they are able to produce O-rings to our required standards. The O-rings are placed in a heated press to cure the newly formed joint. Once fully cured, the O-rings are moved to the cooling station. Our O-rings are manufactured from a range of conductive extrusions supplied by Parker Comerics, which we keep on site, ex stock and are chosen based on our customers' requirements for their specific application. We started our partnership back in 1995, distributing their EMI shielding, thermal interface and optical materials. Parker were originally founded in 1918 and then merged with Hannafin Manufacturing in the 50s to become one of the world's largest and most experienced manufacturers of sealing and shielding solutions. With a legacy of excellence, they continue to grow and innovate with their materials. Our close partnership with Parker Comerics means that we're given first-hand knowledge of the materials and solutions, which is then used to support our customers through our BDMs at site visits, technical presentations and roadshows. After the earrings are carefully removed from the jigs, each one is then reviewed to ensure that the entire seal on each joint is secure. Any joints that are found to be below our high quality standards are then refined. HITIC is accredited to ISO 9001 and 9100 quality management systems, are a member of SC21 and have adopted a program of continuous improvement. We already work to and above a 98% quality standard, but our goal is to work to and maintain a 99.8% standard. The importance of quality is instilled in every member of staff. Our quality motto is, it starts with me. Quality levels and targets are visible throughout our site, so that everyone is aware of where we currently are and what we want to achieve. The refined O-rings are then reviewed again, when all the finished parts are found to pass our quality checks and our operatives are happy for them to go to the customer, they are then packed to individual customer requirements. Thanks for watching our video. To find out more about our O-rings and what other solutions we have to offer, visit our website or contact us directly.